Hi, my name is Cindy Rang. I'm Brandon Motzkis, and today is our Sunday box opening. <laughs> that sounded a little <laughs> sing song. Hi, my name is. <laughs> well, I kind of brought her. It was at the moment. Like, <laughs> and now it's my turn. You have to say something, Brianna. <laughs> Um, so, uh, welcome. Uh, so we do a box opening, uh, every Sunday afternoon at 1230. Uh, we had heard somehow that they were going yeah. early. Yeah, we heard that there was something. So maybe, maybe last Sunday. I don't know. Yeah. I will. Okay, girls, we'll be there in just a minute. Okay. And we'll check on it for you. We brought, um. <laughs> we brought in the kitchen for them to play with and they are done cleaning it. They're ready for the food and the goods to go with it. Um, so yeah, we have heard that maybe like last week they went early or whatever. So I'll be, hopefully I got my, whatever my issue was fixed. Yeah. Um, so those of you guys that are going, wait, 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 sorry. What did we sold out? And, but it I really think it is. was okay. I don't think we really, I don't think it was horrifying that we sold out of anything super yeah. fast. So anyway, it's all fixed sorry. now, but, but anyway, so we are a, if you're new here, we are a mother daughter duo and we have a quilt shop in central Washington state, the largest in the state. Mm -hmm. uh, we have over 12,000 bolts of fabric and um, 5,000 square foot shop. We have retreat centers, um, two of them and uh, the YouTube channel uh, where we do the box openings twice a week. We do kind of a little fabric chat where we're just having coffee with friends for about an hour Wednesday mornings. And then we have lots of tutorials, blocks of the month, classes, because we have our own pattern line of over about 200 um, patterns. And uh, so anyway, so welcome. And, uh, and first of all, what we have to do is we have to answer a few questions continue the conversation because what happens is we have our Wednesday morning uh, chatting with coffee where we chat about whatever uh -huh. rarely quilting and then um, and then we kind of continue to comment so it's just like you know visiting with friends you know when you're continuing a conversation you know mm -hmm. about whatever right. and so uh, so a couple of things so last Wednesday this coming uh, three days ago uh, Brianna had her second installment of Do You Know What the UK People oh. <laughs> what? what the UK what are the they saying? saying? <laughs> yeah, I'm not very good at it. <laughs> and what brings it up is that I like to listen to Audible and um, Libby. I like to listen to um, somebody read me a story because I don't have time to mm -hmm. sit, but I'm constantly cleaning or sewing or gardening or whatever, driving. And so it's easy to do that. And so I listen to these English words and I have no idea what they're talking about. <laughs> and then oftentimes it's like this real critical part of the book and it's like, okay, wait, I'm not going to stop. Look it up. I mean, sometimes I do. I just kind of try to picture something. And so, um, and I did come up with that word. So there was something that there was a book that I was listening to and it was, um, it, it was about this detective and there was a lot of, um, mystery involved and the guy was constantly wearing what sounded like a baklava. And I kept saying it started with a B, <laughs> a bak baklava, baklava. And so all of my UK friends are going, I don't know what you're saying. I don't know what the word is. <laughs> I, I heard it again. I heard it again, and it's balaclava. Oh, a face mask. <laughs> a balaclava. Senior. Yes, and that's what they were saying, and I had never heard that word before. Huh. But it was funny because in my mind, it was a trench coat. Oh, not a face mask. No, not a face mask. <laughs> You need to He's wearing a dark that. balaclava, you know, or whatever. <laughs> and that's the whole thing is I think that I miss things all the time. You know, and that was why what started this whole thing was somebody being... <laughs> that's like it makes your mystery a whole different... A whole I, different. I, I, I He's not trying to lurk in the shadows. He is covering he his is, identity. You can't see him at all. <laughs> and that was the, the thing that I kept thinking. I thought, well, how did you not see what he was? You know, because he had on a balaclava and sunglasses. But I didn't know. Why not just say a face mask? Cause Why not just say face mask? Why? Because <laughs> it's this? fancy words. Yeah, I don't even know. Makes the best book. Is it fancy <laughs> words? And so then it's this other funny thing trying to picture what they're saying. So, um, so the first time, what was the word that we got wrong? A uh, chuffed. Yeah, chuffed. Was I thought chuffed error. was like huffed and mad, upset, not even remotely. Chuffed totally is happy. Opposite, yeah. Again, missed something in the book there. <laughs> 
And then there was something else that we got wrong. Um, so I had my other little thing towed in a hole. Towed in a hole? It's it, not Pirate's Eye. It's not a Pirate's Eye. Oh, pirate's Eye. Because that's what we call it. And um, I just. Let's get the craft stuff. Mm -hmm. Just a minute, baby. <laughs> They've moved on to craft supplies. <laughs> Impatient. <laughs> Why are you just talking? <laughs> right. Who are you talking to? Why we will take you. They loved the visit to the zoo. Oh. We'll visit the zoo at the end we've of got, the we've video. We've got some visitors again. in the zoo today. Yeah, yeah. They they really like that. They want the live feed. I know for the zoo. I would like that too. It's <laughs> Nana would get fun. nothing done. I would not. Get done. No. Um. Anyway, um. Toad in a hole is sausage uh -huh. in Yorkshire pudding. Ooh. I know. And then, so my question, and I, I haven't seen the response So do you guys yet. have pigs in a blanket, sausage rolled in your pancake, or what do you call that? What do you call that? We call pigs in a blanket. Sausage wrapped in a pancake. Or a muffin. It could be in a muffin tin. I don't know. Do you have that? <laughs> yeah. Because a lot of people said, wait, you want to do a culinary tour, tour of England? <laughs> It's like I do. I just want to taste these things that I, I hear. I, I find it's fairly remarkable how many UK authors I listen to. Wow, that's good. I listen to a lot. I love their accent. I love, I feel different listening to it. I really, really like it, but I do not know what you're talking about. <laughs> I do not know what you're saying. And even when I think I know, I'm clearly wrong. Okay, so toad in a hole, totally wrong. Okay, black pudding. Yeah. We talked about that. Thought right. maybe I thought it was breakfast. Each other. Yeah. No. No. Breakfast. It's breakfast, okay. and it's made out of blood. Oh, I did know that. Yeah. Because so I they drain enough blood from the cow to not kill it, and that gives them. I mean, when they started making it back in Depression era, or um, and then yeah. uh, so there was enough iron and nutrients in it, and because of the iron in the blood, it made it black. So and it's a savory... Because Australia does call it um, blood pudding or blood sausage or something. Australia calls it that. And that is well, totally what it is. Our Australian um, friends are also weighing in and saying, oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, and this But try this. this. <laughs> so um, for round three, we are gathering Aussie slang terms for you. Oh, and no. they are I'm, um, I'm they're all in on it. And but... they're, uh, they're wanting to get you. Mm -hmm. uh, with what they eat and what they say, and um, and I need to find an Aussie author. I don't know that I I've ever. I don't one. We, I need to find we need one. your input, guys. Give us a book to read. I would totally to. read that. I would totally read that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah. anyway, so that and then what was the other thing? Let me. Um, it, it was what everybody was talking about was the food <laughs> and the English and the slang, and I took some pictures. Bye. Well, bye, bye. Where are you going? Where are you going? Who are you talking to? Hi. 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 Okay, say hi, everybody. <laughs> so, um, Sleepy Cat, she starts with, no, Hello. ladies. Uh, this is what, uh, and then uh, uh, she was talking about tea and that they Ooh. love their biscuits, but um, um, but they don't all like tea. And then I have a question about the tea because I was thinking it was only Earl Grey tea. Oh, because it's I better. have shown the tea that I have shown mm -hmm. Sally my um tea drawer which i am enamored with i have all kinds and she says no there's only on all of that tea she says there's only hi. <laughs> i can't see you when you stand up there there now say hi, hi. you can't stand up there they can't see you <laughs> your face is covered <laughs> sorry i don't know what they can't saying. see you they can't see your eyeballs can you duck say hi <laughs> Godzilla. Hey, hey, don't touch that. I have a hard enough time. Hey, they can't see you. She said, I want to be all of everybody's attention. All right, let us get through this. Honking. Yes. Means also not just vomiting, but they do say throwing up. It also means stinky. Stinky. You're honking, a honker, that's stinky. for sure. And then... Oh, and this was the one that everybody was was talking about was maths. Oh, maths? It was driving me crazy that it was a maths teacher and doing my maths because we say math. And everyone, even some Americans said, well, we get it wrong. Math is wrong because it's mathematics. Mathematics. Oh. Because it's algebra, geometry, it's trigonometry, all of that. So maths would be... Um, 
correct, and right, we sure. say it wrong. And I, I, I would agree with that, but I still can't say it. It still seems wrong to me. <laughs> and then, um, oh, and also, uh, Stevie, Stevie says um, a car has a boot in the back and the front under the hood. Yeah, is a bonnet. A bonnet. I like it. Love that. Hey. Oh yeah, and here's the oh and black pudding. <laughs> Yeah, and then she also says, Cindy, if you really want to be baffled, try some Aussie slang one day. <laughs> you guys make up for it, so. <laughs> And then some comments about rare bits. You're kind of full of it. She doesn't like having the girls in her playroom. She doesn't. She's chewing them out. She says, Mom, come and get them out. Let's go get our kitchen stuff. We're going to go get some... <laughs> what? <laughs> She's at the stage where thinks it's funny that everybody tries to eat her. She still isn't, thank goodness, biting anybody, but she thinks it's hilarious. <laughs> You're so cute. And notice, too, her hair is um, turning blonde. Yeah, this is just here. Her best thing when she pretends she's sleeping, she pretends she's snoring. Literally. <laughs> I think it's funny. <laughs> you wonder how she comes up with these things. <laughs> you sleepy? Oh, little. Little? Little. I don't you want to bite your you. your blonde hair? It's still really curly, though, which is really cute. Okay, we're going to go rest Get some girls. toys. Get some toys. And then we'll open some boxes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's absolute chaos. <laughs> you we, can pause here. We, <laughs> We love it that you got, I mean, you know, there's no uh, scripting, there's no anything. <laughs> you it's get just real life. Whatever madness happens. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to finish this conversation for just a second. I should yes. have got my glasses. But I just want to finish this just in case. So jellied eels. Yes. Is really eels. Really? Yes. Huh. Um, and somebody said that they eat it. It's mostly in London and southern UK, not, um, the uh -huh. spell says not up north. And um, she says it's served with green gravy. Ooh. Yeah, the, that does not help it to me. That's like a whole um, lot of fear factor going on right there. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I don't believe that. <laughs> it's one of those things where I just taste it, then I'll tell you what it is. Yeah. Right. Sometimes if I don't know. Mm, it tastes like chicken. Yeah. You know. Sometimes I feel like that's better. It's just like, let's have a taste, and then you can tell me what it was, and I could be horrified that I ate it. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Um, so Welsh uh, rabbit or Welsh rare bit, um, uh -huh. it's pronounced both ways. Um, it is made with beer. Uh, one thing that I didn't mention is that you're supposed to put Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce oh, in yes. it. Right. And I kind of feel like I want to try that. I feel like I really want to make it this bad, weekend. Yeah. Um, Rosalie Bond uh, yeah. said that she's made it. Oh. Um, and she likes it. She said, but um, it doesn't take very much of your beer. And if you don't want to drink the beer and you add it, it ruins it. Mm. So FYI. And I, I told her that's why you drink the beer. And then Penny uh, Dennison said that, uh, or, uh, Penny and Dennis uh, De Degener said that uh, Welsh Rabbit is in the Betty Crocker cookbook. Oh, that's cool. I know. I haven't looked yet. I'm going to see. But cool. Anyway. All right. And I think that was it. That was the um, tidbits of, but you guys were, everybody was just going crazy about the English food and some of the stuff they had tried and they knew about and what I really really love is all of our UK friends and our Aussie friends weighing in saying yeah. no you got that totally wrong <laughs> and <laughs> it is possible. supper at 10 yeah really it is yeah, late. they eat it late 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 that's how yeah. I figured if it's they four. Eat after work or after and you know you think about that we used to eat four meals a day yeah because mm -hmm. we would have breakfast and lunch and when the kids came home from school they were starving and they could scarf yeah. down four or five pizzas between them and, and then friends we ate it like and six. then we ate dinner yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. but so it that kind of makes sense I guess but yeah anyway I mean Interesting. we probably eat four meals a day we just don't call it <laughs> that. that way yeah we call it a snack <laughs> 
Yeah. And oh. then um, you have a present. I opened it because I thought it was my Amazon package and I thought it was a book. Uh -huh. uh, and then I looked at it and thought, what the heck is this? And then I realized it was addressed to you. To me. And um, there's not a card in here, but it says on the A thing, chicken was there too. <laughs> Tales of the Colonial Chicken. How, where... Uh, who they were at the birth of America. This is oh. from Donna Downer. Thank you, you know, Donna. I, thanks, Donna. I've been reading um, the what is what does a chicken say or something? It's pretty good. It's pretty funny. I know what does the fox say. Yeah, I know. I don't remember what the title is. Is it a book? Yeah, like a novel that they gave me. Uh, n uh yes. Oh and no. no, it's like it's Chicken Whisperer chi kind yeah, of yeah. thing. How it's to know that you're chicken? Oh. They definitely like me best. <laughs> Robert is just the they'll cool meals. at you and yeah. run from him. Yeah, well, they'll they'll. But when I walk outside, wherever I am, if I'm walking out to the garbage can, walking to check strawberries or whatever, they have all of these sweet no, no, little no, chirps no, no, they do no, no. for me. When Robert comes in, they are like screaming. Apparently, the sound difference or whatever is that he is um, alert, alert. Yeah, and he does feed them. But I'm the one who feeds them chicken scraps. I bring uh -huh. them things. Me and Maisie go talk to them. So it's a mm -hmm. different kind of... They know he means, you know, yell him, he's going to feed me. Uh -huh. I'm the one that brings the special things. Or I'm the one that lets them out to go, you know, scrounge. Run around yeah. and scrounge for bugs. So, that's pretty cool. Ah. Cool. Very nice, Lovely Donna. Chicken Donna, backs. our little chicken friend. Yes. Robert's Ooh. one who wants to be a full-blown chicken farmer. But it's like, I don't need one more thing to keep alive. And you guys don't <laughs> eat them. No, it's we just, just do it for eggs. eggs. Yeah, we don't yeah. do any um, uh, meat raisers. I don't want to do any of that. I don't, you know, if you want to raise them, do whatever. Do it somewhere else. Do, uh, bring me the whole, bring me the cleaned chicken ready to cook. I don't want to, no. We did that one time. We raised a pig um, to eat. It was too hard. It was, you I know, you can't help but get attached. Even if you call it pork chop, you know, or whatever. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't change that you think it's just cute, you know. So, yeah, I I mean, I don't judge anybody that I think it's fantastic. I do understand where our food comes from. I just don't want to be a part of just it. Don't need I just want to bring it to me and I will cook it. Yeah. I'm not going to kill it. <laughs> That's how I am. Even with Robert hunting, they do all of the butchering and stuff at our house because we have the biggest area. But, um... Yeah, I don't, they know, I'm just the babysitter. Anybody wants to bring their kids, I will entertain, I'll make sure nobody gets hurt, that kind of thing. I don't want to help package, prep, label, nope. Not even very good cooking at it, so. <laughs> I don't know, it's like, why do you even bother? Just get it all deer burger, I can cook burger all day long. If I'm making something else, uh, it's probably going to taste good. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, uh, Notion all right, Box. Like Notion's Box. So this is uh, the Poppins bag. So we sell the mini Poppins, this one, a lot. Mm -hmm. So it's essentially this uh, jumbo sized. And it is humongous. And yes. it's pretty cool the way that it opens. Um, it's a big carpet bag. I and mean, yeah. it's probably it's this. It's 18 inches wide, 12 inches deep, and 14 inches tall. Yeah. It's like the size of a fat quarter. And it's nice because it opens all the way. So this one is yeah. the mini. And it comes with the pattern and the stays. Yes. So it comes with everything you need. Mm -hmm. And those stays are nice because it helps to keep it fully open. Open wide. Really nice. Yeah. Um, more loop and tail ones. Again, these are first made for the machine embroiderer. So if you are stitching along and you have that one little stitch that kind of doesn't get tight and it has a little eyelash on the very top of your pretty design, instead of trashing it and starting over, and of course you don't want to clip that thread because you don't want it to um, lose the integrity of that stitch, you take, this is like a bird needle, and you poke it through and it pulls that stitch to the back so it's protected in there. It's also good if you have like a sweater snag. I can't get it out. I was going to get it out so you didn't have the plastic and you could see it, but I don't know if you can tell. I think it's probably pretty shiny. It. I don't, it's but probably blurry. That too. edge, is it blurry right there? Yeah. That edge right there is, um, almost feels like a file. And so yeah. it'll grab it and then this is a needle and it'll pull it through. So I remember the last time when we were talking about how popular these were and somebody said, yeah, but you didn't tell us what it was. Oh, that's what it is. <laughs> it, yeah, it's pretty cool. A couple dollars. It's yeah, totally really worth good. it. Um, poolside tote pattern. Uh, I don't have the bag out here with me. I might grab it I'm at grab some it. point. This is one of the ones we're going to do in the bag retreat. Yes. Is this one. Mm -hmm. um, kind it's of really nice. Fun. Yeah, we're doing three different bags. And so with each one, you'll learn um, something new, some new techniques. Uh, courtside tote. Uh, this is the pickleball 
uh, bag. Oh, so yeah, it yeah. holds your paddles, any change of clothes, any balls, whatever you need, or it's a really cute little backpack. Um, because we ordered more because we sold out super fast because of the pickleball fabric that we got in. There's a little bit of it left, so if this is your first time hearing, we have pickleball fabric. You better get in there. Yeah. But um, yeah, this bag and people is from really all fun. over bought it. Yeah. I mean, I don't know why I think of it as a Washington thing. No, um, just because. But yeah, everybody plays it. Yeah, pretty good. popular. And then we got this cell phone stand. Um, just a simple, quick little pattern. It has all. Uh, it's just on a little card. Um, uh, we had a pattern that was like this. You know, it's all those things when you think you make it up, and then you know, then you see three other people that do it. And um, mm -hmm. but anyway, it's super simple. You're just basically making a pin cushion with a flap on it, and then your um, your uh, cell phone will stand up and be kind of cute in your sewing room. I noticed on our um, TV yesterday they were advertising. So we have a smart TV, which means there's free channels on it. There is now a channel called Pickleball TV. Pickleball TV. Oh, I didn't watch a ball TV. Is that like golf TV? Probably. They're probably watching people There's play that pickleball. Many? Huh. I don't know. I didn't click on it. So, oh, that's interesting. And on to Disney and Plus. No. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, pink sand beach patterns. Um, this is the Fiji tote. Super fast, super easy. If you've never made a bag before, but really want to. Um, it's a really good, easy, simple one that's easy to construct, and then it'll help you also learn, you know pattern lingo when you're making bags maybe we can we'll see what we're opening today we should do a little tour of our <gasps> oh our bag wall our bag wall it's good it's since cool. we've already opened now we have a third to fourth tote. yeah we'll do yeah, that we should do a we'll bag wall we'll, we'll do, do a little bag walk around and you can see the patterns and yeah. all of the samples we have them all in one spot in one spot um, and more um, Hitamari needles for a sashiko. These are the nicest ones. These are Tracy's favorite, and it seems to be Yurix's favorite too. So, and at the moment, we are still out of the sashiko books. We still are out of the books, but they are on order. Um, they'll probably be in. You'll see next week. All right, that was the notions box. All right, that's pretty easy. And then I pulled this back here. I wanted to show you guys this. So we're moving stuff around. Um, again, getting closer and closer to uh, the new reveal where everything is. But um, I grabbed this because um, um, what happens with panels is we end up with um, panels and we'll tell you guys that if there's not a line, we'll wait. And then if you wanted to get two together or whatever, we'll cut it that way. Mm -hmm. And then after about a week or two, we end up cutting the whole thing up just because it's easier. So we were doing that with this one and I just want to show you the panel. I don't even know what's the name of it. Um, it's called Twilight Lake. Twilight Lake. So this oh, is the panel. The panel is really cute. Really fun. And so there's six blocks on there. Oops. Sorry. Six blocks with a border, but there's no line. And so before we cut it, we thought we would just give you one last opportunity to get, because if you got two together, you would have three blocks across by four blocks down. And then all you have to do is put a border on it. I made a quick so, um, car quilt for um, yeah. the guys, a cabin quilt, a hunting yeah. quilt, something that keeps them a little bit warmer, but they, you know. Yeah don't have to worry about the big leaves or something girly on it. Yeah. <laughs> so one last thing. little opportunity. So there's six on here. So if you, if three cool. people wanted, only wanted to, we'll wait. And then um, next week we'll finish cutting these up. And then there's also singles. So awesome. Um, this is a Moda box. Box uh, two of two. So there's one more hanging out. Very pretty. Elegant. Oh, it looks a little bit like a... A little black dress. Yeah. Who is this? It's Ebony Sweet. Ebony Look Sweet. Look how pretty that is. By Barbara Barrickman. And Barbara Barrickman usually does, um, um, like the Williams... William Morris. William Morris, um... Yeah. Classic. Looks really good. All right, I've got a whole other box of goodness to go through. Mm. multi plus and I do have a pre-cut box it's a little beige yellow box but um, hopefully the right they're the right pre-cuts we'll open up all the fabric like I the would redo my bedroom for this one pretty, I mean I think that matches your headboard like I really nice does. all right super gorgeous oh my gosh absolutely beautiful and it's um, Barbara, Barbara Berrickman yes. um, absolutely beautiful and um, uh, what I really like kind of the 
elegant black gray a mm -hmm. little bit of tan involved in there it's really really pretty do we have any more of this fabric left i don't think i have any more of this but it's the closest thing i have that's the same color texture idea same aesthetic so yeah so don't look in don't, don't look don't at in. the fabric <laughs> look at how the, the color the <laughs> overall and this is the fastest simplest pattern it's called simply charming simply charming the pattern um uses 10 inch squares or five inch squares depending on how big and how fast you want to make it so one layer cake and yardage or one uh, i think it's two charm packs and yardage yeah. and it's just super simple i mean all it is is you can see what it is is it's just your charm packs and then your little rectangles in there yeah and so it just goes together and you get all of that color and all of that fun stuff because with your charm pack, it's all different textures. Yeah, this particular one is super nice because then you have the border and we put some big minky on minky it. Minky on the back, which yes. is super, super nice. So kind of the same idea. Um, you could just with a, a layer cake or um, a couple of charm packs, go ahead and put that together. But let's look at this one. Tell me again what it's called. Ebony um, Sweet. Ebony Sweet. Oh. And if you're wondering, that's right, uh, we had told you guys we were going to be in front of Tracy from now on. Tracy is off today, so uh, you wouldn't see her anyway, so we're back to here. So you guys will see Tracy next week. She'll be back in here full time. But All right, beautiful. absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. So this is kind of the one of the, there's several pieces that are just kind of yeah. this really big. And this is the largest piece. Oh, I just love it. It's so beautiful. And you see my hand. See how big those flowers are? It's just yeah, really, really they're gorgeous. They're like five inches. Yeah. And then this one is the same print, but it is um, colored differently. But same idea. Absolutely beautiful. And then this one is another one. I mean, you know, that's that nice thing is when you find something, it's like there could be multiple pieces that could be focal prints so the other pattern that would be really good for fabric like this is stash buster mm -hmm. that's another one that um, it leaves the pieces fairly large because the fabric itself is so beautiful that you don't really want to cut it up and then gosh and look at this one a whole another different one absolutely beautiful and again if I put my hand there you can kind of see the size of it just beautiful I wouldn't be able to cut this up. And then the other thing is that we were sort of looking at backgrounds you could use. So we have lots of different tone on tones that are kind of this cream on cream. Um, we have some other colors. And the other one that we grabbed just for fun, I just want to show you, is this is that um, uh, fig, what is it called? Fig, fig tree, tree cream. Yep. We call it banana. Whenever we talk about it, we use it as like the perfect background and it really does look very, very good with this if you wanted something besides cream. Just kind of nice because there's just that little bit. And then, of course, there are, this one's sort of rolled here, so I'll show you. There are um, jelly rolls, charm packs, and layer cakes. Look at that one. That's another one that we haven't seen yet that could just be an all over focal print. Beautiful. We've seen this one before, different color, but it has the little birds in it. Same one, little different color. Beautiful. Oh, this was like the one that we saw in the beginning. Look at that, that one. Pretty. That's the hard thing is that you just can't tell which one is the prettiest. Kind of a all over texture. I mean, it's a beautiful print in there, very flourishy. We have some vines, and the thing with the vines is that it's almost ombre ish. Can you see that? That there's a yeah. light gray, dark gray, almost, I wouldn't really say stripey, but there's another one that's just more tone on tone effect, but it's that really cool print in there. More vines. And again, stripey kind of. You can see that there's the medium gray and dark gray. There's another one. Beautiful. Another one that's kind of tonal. Even just the tone on tone. Yes, My so goodness. Pretty. So elegant. I can't decide elegant. what is my favorite. I know. I know. That's why... 
I think that it needs to be one of those where um, it's all fairly large pieces. Look at that one. Because they're all um, equally gorgeous when it comes to having like a focal print. And then again, we've got the mini charms, which is kind of fun. And then we have the five inch charms and then the ten inch charms. There's a yeah. lovely picture of Barbara. There's and then and the minis, in case you're unaware, those are the two and a half inch squares. Yeah. Right. Kind of fun. All right. Gorgeous. Too many ideas with this fabric. Okay, we're going to move this. We're going to open more boxes. Okay. All right. Our, our gallery, our gallery boxes. boxes. Our gallery is. Um, we say this every time, but just in case you're new here, um, what happens with fabric is everybody has their own finishing uh, recipe so that when they're done printing the fabric and they're done with everything else, they have some sort of a recipe that might include um, a fabric softener, a sun guard, a stain guard, and they put that over the top of the fabric and everybody feels a little bit different. And I love the companies mm -hmm. that add that fabric softener to it. And um, art gallery, Oh, look at this one. Our gallery is um, amazing. With my eyes closed, I can tell you that it is art gallery fabric. It feels so good. Okay, and then let me tell you another thing. So uh, this is art gallery fabric, one of our favorites. But the other thing is that a year ago, yeah, it's backed by popular demand. So we're probably we were not the only quilt shop asking for it. Yes. So so. I think a year ago was when we made this quilt sold out instantly of the um, of this fabric, and it's Emily Dickinson poetry, and this was the quilt that we made. Um, it's called Hollywood, and so Hollywood is kind of a super fast, super impactful quilt because um, what you can do is take one background piece you might not be able to see very well but that's what this fabric is we'll show you in a minute close up it's this emily dickinson poetry that's really cool and then what's cool about hollywood is that what it is is it's just this these blocks these kind of fun little blocks that you put down through the center of it um, it started that this was a table, a bed runner mm -hmm. that we could put across the foot of the bed. And then it's like, well, if you just take, I think it takes five and a half yards of fabric and you cut it, put those blocks right down the center. It's five and a half yards of fabric and 10 fat quarters, fat quarters. Mm -hmm. and you can make this massive quilt. So super popular. And uh, so a year ago we asked them, can you just reprint it? We will order a bunch, and I'll bet there's, I'll bet there's five bolts in there. Yeah. Now, if there's five bolts, that means that there would be ten people who would be able to make a Hollywood get a chunk. With it, but ooh, and then it looks ooh, like it and might peachy be brown, peachy browns. So. Yeah. Cute. So I'm gonna get plastic taken off, then we'll look closer at the Emily Dickinson stuff, and then um, what the other boxes and pulls. Okay, so uh, gorgeous as usual, and there was uh, multiple boxes because what it really is, is this is like their basics line, right? Yes, so there's this bunny hatched one that looks like it's Sashiko stitches is a basic one. So and we got that in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven colors. Seven colors, and we're putting it with this other collection that we have, and then we're, so we're gonna kind of show it in a couple of parts so you can see what goes with what. Right? Yeah, yeah, right. so we have, a we have a color story happening. Yeah. So it's essentially a basic and a collection we melded together. It's really, really pretty. It looks yeah. really good together. Um, fun thing about Art Gallery is there's not really a collection name. Um, sometimes there's, there's a lot like Micah Miller well, where each bolt will have its own title and then collectively it's called, you know, the blue ocean art gallery makes it one step harder where it's not all called the blue ocean <laughs> it's just a whole bunch of pieces look good together, which i like i still think it's super great but you will notice that our art gallery collection it's all art gallery fabric mm -hmm. so in the what's new section of the website fabricpatch.net you will see that there's art gallery these things we're showing you today is what you'll see first so the first like mm -hmm. page and a half of art gallery will be the new stuff and then everything else that will totally go with it so if you're shopping and building Building your own story, building your own quilt kit, whatever you're doing. Um, put in your notes at the very end. Just say, hey, I'm going to put all of these together. Can you um, okay all these? Yeah. 
and we can absolutely change something out to make sure it's the right kind of ivory or the right kind of white and make it perfect and we can even text you pictures to make sure you're okay with it or you can say I trust whatever you do and happy to see it or whatever yeah but that's the thing the art gallery is kind of funny that it's just a whole lot of art yeah. And printed yeah. art, and it's yeah. really fun. Yeah. Now, one other thing I want to ask, because they're going to wonder, so uh, uh, are we doing any fat quarters, half yard cuts, um, bundles of these? We could. Because if we did... Fine. Uh, it might not be right. It might not be right. Because we wouldn't know what to works. add. Right. Yeah. They'd be All right, numbers. so um, no the cuts. Jill Chamberlains, the the ginger yeah. Burke houses, the <laughs> there won't be any bundles. <laughs> yeah, you guys, that, yeah, like it like that. Go ahead, yeah, pick what you want. Yeah, and I don't think we're gonna run out instantly of mm -hmm. anything. I think the most popular thing that you're gonna see today will be this Emily Dickinson print. That's gonna be the go. It the created a frenzy before. And we only, did we truly only get three volts of it? Uh, I thought Why there was, was four. I was thinking in my head five? Well, we don't know if it's three, four, four or five. You'll know when you go to the website, <laughs> so but much. not enough. Um, if you are somebody who wants to do the Hollywood quilt, but aren't sure if you have the 10 fat quarters to go with it, put in your notes. Say, hey, I want to make Hollywood. I need 10 fat quarters. Um, Hook me up. Yep. Yeah. And then we'll we can it. cut you essentially those fat quarter bundles and then call you for a payment for it and... No we deal. do also have some Hollywood kits already put together. It doesn't have this particular fabric in it, right. but Hollywood is one of our more popular kits that we put together because it's it fast. is so stinking fast. It's just square, square, square. So they square together and, the and then put your fabric on both sides. Um, Hollywood are the two quilts that we have. We have them in a lot of our um, retreat bedrooms. Yeah. Because we can so whip it up really quick. <laughs> and we can change our mind. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. So let's look at this up close. And then um, we are going to then go to the bag area because wait till you see what the last one is. This is the Emily Dickinson one. So if it seems a little bright for this collection, you'll see why. And then we're going to show you these up close. Kind of cool. Because this one down here is a linen piece. And so we'll show you that one at the end. But I'm going to slide these down just a little bit. So that you guys can see them a little bit better. So let's start with, this is that Emily Dickinson one. And I don't know, are they going to be able to see that? Yeah, we can so see. So it's all, it's just Emily Dickinson poetry, and it's really fairly faint. It almost could be a background because it's so light, light, but it's absolutely readable. So it is kind of a white background, and then there's beige words, and then there's gray words. So you can, you can read it. It's absolutely fantastic for kind of whatever you want to use. So that's that one. This is the basic that we were talking about. So you can see, and we've got it in seven colors, and it's just this really cool, wait till Tracy sees it. She's gonna be sad, she did not see this today. Mm -hmm. This would be a really they, cool. Yeah, they call that deco stitch. Deco stitch. And that is in color windswept. Windswept, which is kind of a, uh, if gray and beige had a baby. Mm -hmm. What color is this? What do they call that? They call that one driftwood. Driftwood. Which is funny. It's mm, not. It's like taupe. no. It's, it's taupey. Yeah. Beautiful. And then we have stripe. And this stripe is super awesome. So the stripe is kind of cool because there's all kinds of little colors in there. There is a lavender. There's some green, pink, orange. But very, very pastel-y. Really cute. This one is a classic art gallery uh, with the little sunrises. Beautiful and not very big. So you can see, if I put my hand here, the size. Another classic art gallery piece. What do they call this? Do they, they have call, a name for they it? They said mix the volume. Oh. It's like topography, but. Yeah, it's interesting. I love it. This one. And this one is, uh, what would you say those colors are? Kind of peach and yellow. And they're orange, little probably. orange. Yeah. It's pretty. Same as like then this one. Yeah, same. Peach. These are the same colors, just yeah. shown differently. Yeah. And this one. Peach is like the big thing. Everybody wants peach and teal. Peach and teal. This is beautiful. Looks all kind of linen-y, but of course it's that super soft, fun peach color. And then another darker peach I guess you'd call it I don't know what color this is what color do you think that Very is pretty. yeah dark peach dark peach beautiful and then there's this one little extra color what is that supposed to be 
Um, you have the. You oh, have I the have it. Side. Uh, they're calling it stacked stones in ochre. Hmm. And then this one, if you can tell, it's teeny, teeny, tiny little flowers. So again, I'll put my hand here. You can see the size of it. Itty, itty, bitty. Very subtle, really beautiful. And then here is more of the deco stitch in this rich brown, kind of root beer they color. call it fudge brownie. Fudge brownie? Hmm. Light on the fudge <laughs> brownie. What do they call this one? They call it cinnamon sugar. Si okay. I would agree with that. It's really nice. And then this gorgeous piece. This piece would look really good too with the peaches. If you felt like you wanted a dark one, I'm going to bring that peach over again. See that together? Yeah. Really nice. I really like this piece. I feel like I've never seen this piece before. They call it effervescent blanket lava. See? Wow, they that's a lot going fun. on. What? <laughs> they make it even more fun than Michael Miller. Why are you messing with us? See, it's art uh, That's what it is. It is. It is. Art gallery. Hey. Justify. They cannot be put in a box like a name. <laughs> no. I'm not saying that. I, it all goes bookshelf. together. Yeah. They do not yeah. call it that. They call it parallel strokes in Terra. Parallel strokes. They got tired. I think it is kind <laughs> of like, because I think the reason they do that, because since they're art gallery and they want it all to go together, yeah. which I think is true because who's the other one? Um, Cotton and Steel does, does that same yeah. thing. They just do really weird stuff and they will let you decide how to put, yeah, it together. put it all together. And here is more stacked stones in a little different color. And this one is in linen. Yes. It's 55% linen, 45% cotton. So I know you can't tell. And but, I think it's, um, it's either 54 or 60 inches wide. I I'm not even yeah. sure on that. It's really, really pretty. And we'll show you when we go out. We're going to go out here in just a second. Um, oh, well, there's Paul. They saw him. Did they see him? <laughs> <laughs> a sighting. A sighting. <laughs> <laughs> Normally, he would say something snarky right now. But he knows <laughs> he the camera's on. So <laughs> he's on his best behavior. He thinks all we do is stand around and talk all day. <laughs> did they see him? Yeah, they did. <laughs> <laughs> a paw sighting. It's as good as Bigfoot around here. Uh, All right. So, yeah, we're going to go over to the bag wall, do some show and tell, some pattern showing. Um, and then we'll take you to the zoo. Yes. We'll end with the zoo. <laughs> okay. So, we have a little bit of show and tell real fast yes. uh, that Denise has brought in. You've seen her quilt before. This is her stacked in black and white. And what's the name of the fabric? Inked? No. Oh. Ink. I don't remember. Uh, I'll put it down there for you guys to see yeah. when I edit it. Yeah, so she, um, uh, black and white. And gold. And it is go It is massive. Yeah. This they is added, 120 by... They added the borders on there. The but yeah, 120 by 129. So she oh, wanted you to see the borders, Here, and on. she's wondering... Um, we think she should do a purple backing. Yeah, so she is taking requests. What do you think what should be on the back? What do you think... But yeah, see there you can We've see been this, yeah. the quilt and then their oop, their cool border choice. Yeah. So and yeah. if you guys are asking, it's like, wait, backing is only 108. Yeah. They gonna be pacing. Yeah. A lot. So the best way <laughs> a lot. So my suggestion when you have a quilt that's wider than that, because she's 120 by 129, mm -hmm. so the 108 fabric that's extra wide, it's not gonna work. What I would do with that is I would cut it right down the middle. And I would put a big enough piece, maybe a half a yard, I mean 18 inches wide or whatever, right in the center there so that it lines up right. And whether that line is going to go vertical or horizontal, you can decide for yourself Make either way it it's going to happen. essentially an oversized Hollywood quilt. Right. And don't, I mean, you don't have to do all the piece thing, but you'll have right. two pieces that are the same right. color and then an accent piece. So Because for those of you that do not long arm quilt, or maybe you're kind of new to this, and if you think that you're going to take a border and put a frame all the way around, it. I have Hard. to tell you, as two long arm quilters, yeah, it is not going to line up that way. It will if you pin it first and you hand quilt it, or if you pin it first and you're very carefully on your domestic machine starting in the mm -hmm. center and go out, but no long armor quilts like that. So what will happen is things will shift a little bit and it won't look the way that you think. Those medallion backs are impossible yeah. for a long armor. So that's why for me, I would say don't do that. Put a, some sort of a mm -hmm. stripe somewhere in it, make it look like you meant to do it. I mean, you can make it pretty artsy-fartsy on the back if you want to. You could, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. And I've quilted a few before that they did almost have a reversible quilt where they had um, their quilt, main quilt on the top, and then they had extra blocks. Yeah. And they pieced their extra blocks and they put it in the center of their backing. But their, like, border on their back was, like, 12 or 15 inches. Yeah. So I had the wiggle room to be able to make it look as accurate as possible and accurate as possible being maybe the top is only going to be 14 inches and the bottom is going to be 18 because of how the stretch worked. But if yeah. you're hoping for three inches all the way around, it's you, never going to happen. Yeah. If it does happen for you, you have a fantastic long arm and you keep her. You keep her close. <laughs> Do not share her name. Don't tell her name to anybody. <laughs> it's like that babysitter. That's, yeah, that's right. Ah. Don't share the babysitter. Don't give those names up. <laughs> you have babysitter. No, no, no. Exactly Don't right. know what that no, is. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Let me know if you find one. Yeah. <laughs> totally. Same thing. Same thing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, We're right. going to head out and we'll show you the wall. Yeah. <laughs> all right. We have uh, uh, just yeah, about kidnapped me. Uh, <laughs> said, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> show your quilt. So um, this is Exploding Heart. So this is the pattern that we often see almost always with the white background. But look at it with the black background. This is fantastic. Oh, I so, love it. I know. So she's come in to uh, pick out a backing and I said, wait, 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 <laughs> wait, let us show this. It's beautiful. Thank you. Love it. Oh, uh, very, very nice. All right. Okay, we're out here in the bag corner and so um, we're gonna do a pan real fast. So first you can see all of our samples and you've probably seen lots of these before. We'll run out and grab it when a pattern comes in. And then as you pan across, you'll see we've got all of the Annie's two patterns, all of the sand beach designs. There's more samples down here. These are all of the by Annie's patterns over here. And then I don't know if you can see very far down there, but we've got um, the Sally Tomato, Sally Tomato hardware, and then um, more, you know, that faux leathery stuff. So this whole uh, west wall, half of the shop, is all bag stuff. And I think the reason that bags are so popular and continue to be popular is because it's, you know, the quest for the perfect purse, very, very difficult. Uh, we're always looking for that right one, that right size in the right color. So um, what we tell people is that once you find a pattern that you really like and you've made it the first time, the first time that you make it, you might struggle, you know, just a little bit trying to figure out what is she talking about? How far in do I go? But then once you've made it the first time, the second time you'll make it super fast and by the third time it'll just be old hat and you won't even need the pattern. So when you find one that's a size or something that you like then makes it kind of nice. So I think this one is called like the strippy toad or something. I'm not, might not remember the patterns, but we'll just do a quick little thing. You guys have seen this one many times. That's the Camden bag. This is the um, kaleidoscope bag. This is one of my favorites, um, the kaleidoscope bag. And then this is the big kaleidoscope bag. So it's really nice for use with those great big panels. Um, Oh, I can't remember the name of this one. Uh, when I edit oh, it. Sweet Janes. Oh, you're going to put the name in. I'll put names in it for you guys. This one is a pink sand beach. This one is the um, small poppins bag. Um, the dookie dop. Um, this one I carry, the purse that I carry every day is just like this, except it has the zipper in it. Um, this one is one of the ones we're making at our bag retreat. Um, we're going to do pre-quilted fabric, not this color, um, but um, kind of fun because then you'll be able to really perfect all of that binding that you see all the time on all of the By Annie's uh, products. So just kind of a fun little tote. A couple more down here. Um, fun. This is another By Annie's. Can't think of the name of that one right off. Oh, Brianna's going to put it across here for you. This one is kind of fun because all of these are the same. This is another one that we're doing. We're starting with this at the bag retreat because everybody needs to know how to make just a basic bag. And so it's really simple. We're going to put in our zipper and our little tabs and then decide how you want to design your fat, your, um, your bag. And uh, this is what the pattern calls for, which is I think a um, four inch bottom. But if you did the exact same fabrics, 
and you just did a smaller bottom, you would end up with a taller bag. And then again, you can decide all kinds of ways to decorate this. This is that texture magic. I don't think they call it that anymore now. It's a new brand, but this is the same fabric where you like stitch a little grid like on an organza and then you um, steam it and it shrinks it. It's kind of a cool stuff. This is the exact same bag and this one again with a kind of a cool trim. And this is that um, craft tex fun stuff totally washable it feels like paper but it's not it's um 100 washable it's really really fun comes in really cool colors and creates sort of a really unique bag and then this one exact same thing and again you can just even change out your sizes just a little bit to have something a little bit thicker you could maybe put some embroidery on here do all kinds of things add a trim and this is that faux uh, faux cork um faux leathery stuff so all kinds of things so we're going to play with these a lot because i think that it's important to know how to make some of these fun little bags because if you're just making some fun little bags for um, gifts, something to put um, your um, earbuds in, something to put in your uh, makeup, uh, stitching, uh, stitching bags, all kinds of reasons to want to have tiny little, tiny little totes. All right, and then let me show you a couple more over here. These are, this is our other pool tote. Thank you, Rosalie. And so this one is a one of those linen blends, um, really cool fabric. And then this one, I think you guys already saw. I think we showed you this one. Yeah, same, same bag. Thing. It looks same so bag. different. Yeah, this Hold is the together. exact same bag. Looks totally different. Now, the other difference with this, this one um, is just canvas. Uh, it's not canvas. It is the 15% linen. 85% cotton and that's what's on the outside and inside there's no other batting in here and it's just kind of a nice heavy bag this one is stiffer so it stands a little bit different it holds its shape a little bit different because it has all of that soft and stable in it and so it just looks different but it's the exact same bag exact same cool. size kind of fun to see zippy strippy bag Kind of a cute little crossbody bag with all kinds of little pouches, perfect for um, vacations. A couple of those colors. And then this one, just a classic that's always popular. I carried this one all through Europe uh, with me. The bad thing about a bag like this is that you overfill it and then Pa has to carry it. So this was <laughs> Pa's bag through Europe. Um, and it's called, I don't know, Brand's going to put the name there. Um, Mega, Mega Botox. Botox. Mega Botox. Anyway, and then, oh yeah, and then most of these, I think these were some of the ones that we were showing you, and yeah. that was what was up here, so. All right, okay, now um, on to the zoo. Shopping. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Just recording. Visiting the zoo. 
Oh. People like to visit the, the zoo. The viewing window is pretty fun. <laughs> Except for Aurora. Doing? <laughs> We're watching, We're the, watching the zoo. Uh oh. Fine, I'm staying out of it. Smart girl. <laughs> hey, what happened? What, 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 what? She has her shopping cart. She's going shopping. It's funny, Aurora is very upset that we're filming her. They don't realize. We don't care about Rara. <laughs> Love we you, Tess, but about we want to see that. <laughs> Rara is our unique brunette. Yeah, she's the only one that is brunette. She is. She has the sass of a brunette. She is. She has the sass of it. That's well, right. Well, she has to. I mean... She's the only one that might be able to get away with, well, they're not my eye brother. They're not my sister. But oh, <laughs> I don't know. She likes it a lot. I like them. The best thing really to see in here at the zoo is uh, Harper's style. <laughs> that girl. She does it herself <laughs> because uh, mom doesn't know. <laughs> see her uh, purple Crocs, camel pants. Yeah. <laughs> and awful green shirt. She and was telling me that that was Wyatt's shirt, and she got to, to wear it today. Oh, that's exciting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wonder what shirt Wyatt went to school in. I'm pretty sure he didn't go in my yeah. Harper shirts, but, you know. We should come in and, um, should we visit Jordan's area for a minute while we're back here? Yeah. All right, so we're back here in the back, and uh, some of the zoo creatures have followed us out. Uh, we're going to show you a couple things, but <laughs> I just want to point this out really quick. We'll have Brittany come over here. So this is the other one. So we just showed them um, Simply Charming oh. out there. With the, um, I'm gonna stand on this side. Oh, am I? Oh, wait. Uh, it's my, um, simply charming with the layer cakes, and then this is one with the five inch square. So, super, super cute quilt. What is this one? This is Beeline for Baby. I have that exact quilt in <laughs> Stash Buster. Exact quilt. I love that fabric. Fabric is no longer available. Don't, don't get attached to it. Just look at it and see how pretty it is. And then the zoo creatures are out. Just the little Hi. one. <laughs> and then um, Eliza made this one. Mm -hmm. This one. What pattern is that one? Beeline for baby. Oh, beeline for baby. It's got Minky on the back. Mm -hmm. and, and you said she made it for her cousin, but she's not yes. so sure if she wants to part with it yet. Yes, because she <laughs> has fallen in it. love with it. Yes. And she quilted it herself. Did all of it. Everything. I had to help with the border because she couldn't quite figure out how to make it all line up. But other than that, she did it Minky, all herself. Look at this one. Let's see if she says. Mm. Mm -hmm. So she can give it a hug. Ooh, yeah. Do you like it? Say cheese. Want to get all covered up with it? Where'd you Pink. go? Pink. <laughs> she looks so tired. <laughs> yeah, it's hard tired. wrangling those big yeah, girls around. Right. Oh, I see his Uncle Jordan. <laughs> and then this one is the. Um, I call this the three seam quilt, but what do they call it? Ten minute quilt? Ten minute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ten minute yeah. block. So this one is super fun. Um, Reason, did you do a, a video with this one? Uh, there is a video. Um, there is there a is video. video. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's just, you just put a little piece in the seam. It's like super crazy. Yeah. What is that one right there? That is the beginner Bargello. Oh, yeah. Oh, hold that one up. That one's so pretty. You, you, you find the orange oranges? Oh. <laughs> Come on. Let's go get your sippy cup. Come on. Come on. Come on, we're not making a mess. Yeah, take it. Come on. Here, you carry. I'll carry well, you. Well, that's so pretty. <laughs> yeah. Super fun. Really nice. We and that's it. fun to see that a Bargello, that it doesn't just have to be, you know, batiks. It can be anything you want. Look at that, all that color. Yeah, that's pretty. And this fabric is no longer available. No. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I, I got it while I could. It's beautiful. That's what happens though. You make a sample out of something and then yeah. we sell out of the fabric and then the sample's just a big old tease. Right. Mm -hmm. And Beeline for Baby is like your go to. I mean, not Beeline for Baby. Uh, a beginner beginner Bargello is like your go to. My go to quilt. quilt. Um, yeah. When I have a bunch of fabrics that I love, I just feel like it can show them all off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And it really doesn't take that much fabric either mm -mm. to make it even bigger. Yeah. No. Awesome. So they are back here in the back, kind of getting set up because I think all of you guys know that now Jordan is back here. Um, uh, come and stand in. Everybody has seen you a million times, but uh, say it again. Brianna's, if you're new to us, this is Brianna's older brother, my oldest son. And, uh, and, 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 and uh, Ra Ra's dad and, um, and Eliza's dad. 
And so, uh, so he does all of the uh, sewing machine repair, and so he has his own little um, separate part of the shop, own little front door. And then what's really exciting is that um, Brittany, who has been doing long arm custom services for a long, long time, and is still doing that, you can mail your quilts here, you can drop them off, you can do whatever you want to, but she is also going to rent out her machine by appointment only. So if somebody wants to come and do their own quilt uh, on her machine, and then how do they contact you? Um, bright, eyes servi bright eye services at gmail.com or my phone number. Okay. And put Perfect. it on there. Okay. All right. Oh, here, look at this too. The other thing too is Jordan is multifaceted. So you will find in here, I don't know if this will still be here when you come back because we've all been oogling and drooling on it. So um, Jordan loves to do woodworking. And so I'm sure you can recognize what these parts are from, and then he has this. Part is, is they're looking at it from the back side of the table. Oh, but it's fantastic! Okay. You don't it's know what it is. It's fantastic. Yeah. It is a black walnut live edge top with um, just pine extra shelves because we didn't want to take away from the the beauty of the top. Yeah. And then just a reused Singer turtle base. So cool. It is fantastic. And he um, ha he does these, and these are for sale. Yep. He uh, yeah, well, makes we'll have three of them by the time we open. We'll have three of them in here. Wow, that's pretty awesome. awesome. All right. I think that was really good. So let's yeah. see. We had uh, what all did we see? We it's had so long. Moda. Notions. Oh yeah, notions. notions. Notions that started the bag wall. The bag thing. excursion. Yes. Um, and then uh, ebony suite. The really sweet ooh, elegant moda pre cuts for that one. Some show and tell quilt. The Simply Charming to go with that if you need a little bit of quick inspiration. Mm -hmm. um, art gallery. Um, and then with art gallery was the Emily Dickens yeah. um, one. And yeah. then Hollywood. And all of the extra deco stitch. And I'm mm -hmm. not entirely sure, it's been so long ago, if we showed you the other three deco stitch pieces that we didn't have oh, with yeah. the other collection, um, but then there was three others that yeah. went with the... And I'm gonna put those in with Art Gallery and then also with the Ebony Suite because yeah. they look really good together if you want to add a kind of gray color. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then uh, what else? And then we had the paw sighting. Yeah, and then remember... Yeah, that was pretty fun. And then remember, if anything that you saw on the purse wall, yeah. um, if you have any questions... Screenshot, circle it. Email it, yeah, text, text we have it. our number, um, and then we can help you find it, yeah. let you know what the title of that bag was. Whatever your question is, the best way to do it yeah. instead of sending, sending us a timestamp is take a picture, circle the question mark, say, oh, the you know blue and pink one or whatever, and then send that over to us. And then yeah. we can totally pinpoint that question for you. Yeah. All yeah. right. All right. All right, you guys. Thank you so much. See you later. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching our video. We invite you to leave a comment, hit the like button, or better yet, subscribe to our channel so you never miss an episode. You can also visit our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Pinterest pages, or find all of those things and our online store at fabricpatch.net.